Welcome to your Ethereum News Roundup. Here's your latest for Monday, February 19th, 2024. Ethena Labs launches its USDE stablecoin to mainnet. Starknet announces its DeFi Spring campaign. Zaros introduces dual restaking. And Gearbox launches leveraged eigenlayer restaking. All this and more starts right after this message. This episode is sponsored by Harpy, an on-chain security solution for Ethereum-based wallets. Harpy helps you detect and prevent malicious transactions before they execute, safeguarding your assets from theft in real time. Secure your wallet for free at harpy.io forward slash ethdaily. Ethena Labs announced the public launch of its USDE stablecoin on Ethereum mainnet. USDE is an over-collateralized stablecoin that offers yield and is secured by STETH and balanced positions in derivatives markets. Ethena describes the stablecoin as an internet bond, reflecting its intention to mirror US Treasury bonds. Ethena Labs also raised a 14 million seed extension funding round. SUSDE is a value accruing token representing the value of staked USDE. Ethena also launched the Shard Campaign, a points program for early adopters. The program includes multiple epochs spanning three months, during which users can earn shards by engaging in liquidity provision, bridging to certain layer 2s, and holding specific governance tokens. USDE has already reached a $270 million market cap. The Starknet Foundation unveiled the Starknet DeFi Spring Campaign a program that allocates 40 million Stark tokens in incentives. The campaign adopts a dynamic allocation that rewards participating DeFi protocols based on their activity levels. The campaign starts on February 22nd and will last between 6 to 8 months. It also features a series of quests hosted on Enact, featuring 15 quests that will last until March 22nd. The initial phase focuses on DEXs such as Ecobol, JetaSwap, and NostraSwap. Subsequent phases will focus on money markets and derivatives. A reserve of 10 million Star tokens is set aside for further incentives in late 2024. Zaros, a perpetual DEX native to Arbitrum, introduced dual restaking vaults, enabling liquidity providers to deposit liquid restaking tokens for earning both restaking yields and Zaros trading fees. The initiative builds upon the LRT5 ecosystem, which comprises of protocols that use LRTs. Initially, the feature will support EtherFi's EETH, the largest LRT with $1.25 billion in TVL. Similar to LSTs, LRTs provide staking yield, but with the added benefit of restaking yield from Eigenlayer once actively validated services go live later this year. Zaros is yet to deploy its perpetual DEX to mainnet. And lastly, Leveraged DeFi protocol Gearbox launched Leveraged Eigenlayer Restaking, allowing users to gain exposure of up to 10x leverage on their collateral. The launch features an initial integration with EtherFi for Leveraged Eigen and EtherFi points. Gearbox protocol uses a credit account system that allows users to deposit collateral in isolated smart contracts that can be used to execute leveraged orders across DeFi protocols. In other news, Altlayer raises a $14.4 million funding round and Argent introduces a StarkNet portfolio dApp. This has been a roundup of today's top news stories in Ethereum. You can support this podcast by subscribing on CastBox and following us on X at ETH Daily. Also subscribe to our newsletter at ethdaily.io. Thanks for listening. We'll see you tomorrow.